Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we're at Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats. We're getting ready for deer season. We're going to share some deer recipes with y'all. We have some backstrap. We have some cube steak. We're going to do some shish kebab. We're also going to show some grinding. We're going to show some deer processing. We're going to do some stuffing. we got some really neat stuff. We even got banana bread. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. We done made it into the meat room. What we call it? This is the prep room? room? In the processing room. For people that don't know, this is Chad Menville, one of the owners of Hole in the Wall and Cajun Smoked Meats. That, that, they used to do just seafood, but now I'll tell you what, they doing all kind of stuff. They started processing deers last year, and he did a bunch of them. I mean a bunch yeah, of them. Uh, last year was the first year we did it. Uh, we wound up probably about 190, and that wasn't really with any advertising. Uh, just coming in and having a sign out front and had a lot of repeat customers hoping to have some more this year. And what they've done, they've, they've created this really nice room and they have the cooler right here behind us. And he's got everything you need, so bring your deers over here. Now, what are we doing today? What are we doing? Right now, we're just going to grind the deer and pork up together, uh, fixing to get it ready to make summer sausage. And we're also going to be making some smoked sausage today, too. Gotcha. And you said for the regular sausage, you do 60-40? Uh, yes, uh, 60 deer, 40 pork, 40% 40 pork. That's for everything except the summer sausage and the snack sticks. And uh, the bacon burger as well, uh, for the bacon burger, we don't use as much pork because of the fat. You don't want a burger too fatty, you know. Right. So we cut a little bit of that out. And for the summer sausage and the snack sticks, you want it more lean. Gotcha. You know, it'll last a little bit longer. Lean gotcha. like now, year-round, y'all make pork sausage and That's right. y'all stuffed chickens and tenderloins, uh, stuffed pork chops. Yeah, that's right. Boudin. Do the boudin, the boudin balls. We just started doing jalapeno cheese boudin. The uh, cracklings. Stuff. Yeah, the cracklings, the cracklings as well. They, awesome, cook. they use uh, actual, the jowls of the, the hog, which has a lot of meat on it too. You know, we cook it real, slice it thin and we slice it ourselves and they cook it up. It takes about three, four hours to cook and they use that seasoning on it. Awesome seasoning they got on there. All right, so this is pretty quick, man. You just run that right on through there. That's right, that's about uh, 20 pounds we just did. Wow, yeah. it didn't take a minute. That's it. So this is ready now for the mixer. That's right. Well, we're gonna actually season this. Uh oh. If this was the sausage we were making, uh, we'd go straight to the mixer. But being that a summer sausage, we're gonna wanna run it through again to make it a little more like uh, real fine meat. That way when it cooks and you slice into it, it's more like a like a salami or something right, like that. You know, right, the, the right, texture. Now let's take a minute and talk about the seasoning. You have now perfected a seasoning that you're going to sell to the public also. That's right. Uh, we'll get a shot of that later for y'all. But we have a, I'm going to offer it in 10-pound mix and also a 20-pound mix. It's going to come in a little bag. All you have to do is add that to your, your ground meat uh, to make fresh sausage. If you want to do smoked sausage, you'll just have to add a little curing salt to it. And uh, it's a mild flavor. It's, it's what I use here for my mild. And if you want to make it a little bit spicy, you just kick it up with a little bit of red pepper. Put a little bam to it. So some people like to kill. I'm going to let you keep on going, Chad, while you're getting ready to, you're going to run it through again? Yeah, but i got to add that seasoning. Part. Okay, okay. But for you people who kill your deer and you want to do it yourself, you can come over and get the seasoning. He's got it pre-measured, pre-set for 10 pounds and 20 pound increments. So, so all right, we're going to let him season this. Y'all hang on. We're going to be right back. All right, y'all. We got it all ground up. We dumping it into the mixer now. Look like you can hold a bunch in that mixer. Yeah, man, it'll hold uh, 
about 95, almost 100 pounds in this mixer, which we very rarely mix that much at the time. Right, right. So you got it. It's the it's been run through twice. This is for the summer sausage. It's yeah, been run right. through twice. That's right. We added the mixture, the seasoning in after the first grind, just to get it in a little bit. Now we're gonna run it through the mixer, get it really mixed up real good, and, and get that meat to bind together for and the summer little, sausage. And you add a little water to that. Add a little bit of water, which really don't matter because it's gonna cook out whenever we smoke it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So now I guess he'll go to mixing it now. Let's What's, see. What's really neat, y'all, the smokehouse they have, he can hold like 350 pounds of meat in there, and it's in six different sections, you were telling me. That's right. That's the way we can uh, make sure. That way we can make sure that it's your meat. Even though we're putting that much in there, I, I separate it in sections to where I can't smoke up to that much, smoke that much, but we'll keep it separated. Gotcha, gotcha. So he can have six different people's stuff in there, so you can bring your meat in the turnarounds real quick. That's right. All right, we're going to let this mix up. This whole loud mixer right here, we're going to get it going, and then uh, we're going to see what's next. All right, y'all, we done made it to the next process now. We've ground it twice. We've done mixed it up, and now we're filling up. This is summer sausage. Really, really good stuff, y'all. I love summer sausage. You uh, just fill up the casing. You come back. You put the hog grain on it, or some people even tie them. That's right. And then you hang them in the smokehouse, and how long something like that will smoke? Uh, it depends on how hot you have your fire. I'm hoping uh, this this year is the first time we're offering it, so I'm still, the, still experimenting with it. But about five hours, I'm thinking it takes. You want to cook it up. Our smoked sausage, we don't cook all the way up to 165, which is why we use a curing salt. Uh, it's a nitrates, which allows you to, to smoke at a lower temperature. Um, but this we're going to cook up to 165 because you pull it straight out of the icebox, cut it, eat it just like that. Put it on so, a cracker. Put that's it right. A little mustard on top. Yeah, there you go. I love that. At the camp. Yeah. That's good eating at the camp. That's right. Well, let's tell them a little bit more about what y'all offer here when you bring your deer. What's some of the other things that they can get? So we offer uh, grinding. You can bring your, your deer and we'll just do straight up grind 100% uh, deer. It's going to be cheaper than any other products. Uh, we grind it, we, we can grind your deer and mix it just with pork. Uh, we can do that seasoned or unseasoned. Uh, other than that, we, we offer breakfast sausage, yeah. we do a bacon burger, uh, we do Italian sausage, uh, we do some uh, in links or bags, however you want. If you want to ground meat, we'll do the green onion. Uh, we can do the jalapeno cheese and we do the regular. Wow. Uh, yeah, and we also do all that in smoked. Gotcha, gotcha. Y'all do, do those links. That's right. The, the jerky links. Oh, yeah, the snack sticks. Snack sticks. Y'all, right. really, really good stuff. And what reminds me of this, you bring that to the deer stand, you break out them little snack sticks, boy. That's right. A lot of people love the snack sticks. We did it. That was the uh, first time last year doing them, and people love them. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to get these stuffed up. We're going to get them closed up. We're getting close. We're getting close to some food, y'all. All right, Chad. We're fixing to do the all-time favorites now. What we call them? Bambi Bites is what most people call them. Uh, we're going to be using the cream cheese today. Uh, I have used mozzarella in the past for people that want a little different twist and get tired of cream cheese. Uh, we're going to demonstrate a little different way to cut it. Uh, for the smaller deer. That's right. You know, Sometimes when you kill them big deer, you have the big steaks where you can just cut across it. Well, when they kill a smaller one, you can still get the same big piece of meat just cutting across the grain. Brilliant. I love that idea. I love that. So what we're actually going to do is... is this is about a, a, we already stuffed most of them, but this is about a third of a back strap right okay. here. Okay. We're actually cutting in thirds, and I'm actually going to cut across the top. Sometimes you don't always get a big deer. Sometimes you end up with a little deer, so you have to, you have to uh, improvise on that. Now, now we never talked about uh, when people, they can bring their whole deer here already cleaned and That's quartered, right. and y'all charge a fee. Yeah, it's $25 deboning fee. Uh, okay. We don't skin and gut. But we do debone, and gotcha. I will cut rows. I will cut tenderloins out, uh, vacuum seal them for a small fee. Uh, we also have a bandsaw. I can freeze it, and I can actually cut it with the bone in. Oh yeah, well you can grill your steaks on the grill. A lot of people That's do right. that. Some people say the bone gives it flavor. I think it does. Uh, some people don't like the bone in it. So right. Do either or. So this is uh, the integral part right here. That's where right. We just uh, we cut the Philadelphia cream cheese already. 
You know, we put a little piece of it and we put just a few jalapenos. Some people, you can put more jalapenos if you want it hotter. Uh, we got a few kids today. We're going to try not make it too hot. <laughs> I like to go ahead and uh, do two wraps of bacon, one this way. Ah. And then you come back the other way and it helps hold that cream cheese in there so it don't get all over the pit. Now, if y'all notice, and we're not using a toothpick, he's got a technique that we're going to show how to cook it without putting a toothpick in there and getting it stuck in the roof of your mouth. That's right. It makes it a whole lot easier. Now, uh, there it is. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cube up some meat. That's right. We offer cubing here at Holden Wild Sea Food and Cajun Meat. All right, y'all. Hang on. We're getting close to eating something. All right, y'all. I'm back with Chad again. Every time I see you, we're doing something better and better and better. This is the good stuff here. That's right. This is uh, something I started last year. Uh, heard about it. Decided to try it on my own. That's why we have this ancient machine right here. Uh, gotcha. You said you ordered a new one. Though. That's right. I, I was hoping to have it for the show. This is something we tried last year. I went ahead and bought this. Uh, started cubing my own to try. Uh, it makes the country fried steak, you know. Matter of fact, what I do is I take the rump, the very hind off of the the deer, uh -huh. and I'll, I'll run it twice through here. And uh, to me, this this gets even more tender than backstrap. I, I think so too. Cause we've tried that it, before. It really too. it really breaks the the fibers down in the meat and makes it real tender. But you can see how it's just cute. Yes, stuff. indeed. It does. Man, you take that, you season that up a little bit. That's, right. That's what we're gonna be doing here a little later. We're gonna get Let's to eat that. some of this, y'all. But this is unique. This uh, my wife Leslie. This is her favorite thing to do. Yeah, we'll, my wife's too. We'll uh, fry some French fries maybe, and then fry some of that. And that's one of the most tender cuts of meat that you ever wanted to eat i'm telling you that's and right and you can also if if you want to cube it and cook it in a brown gravy or something yeah. you know it don't take as long to cook this meat as if you left your your whole stew meat i see the guys it's at the man. camp sometimes throw them on the grill that's right pan fry them or fast because it is it's one of the better cuts of meat other than your back strap and your tenderloin i was reading somewhere you can take and bread that and uh, they'll even take a crawfish etouffee and oh, yeah, dump you can over put the anything top. on top. We're going to do a little white gravy, I think, a little later. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all got the idea. We're going to do some shish kebab next. We're getting close to eating. That's right. All right, Chad. It's in the smokehouse. It's ready, huh? That's it, man. Uh, this is the last step right now. We just finished cooking it. You can see we hung it. Wow. We got the summer sausage hanging. So what I would do right now, I don't want to do it when we have the camera here, but I'm going to take... Uh, cool water and I just rinse it down to stop the cooking process. Uh-huh. We'll go ahead and take it off of there and we put it in the cooler until it's cool enough and it's ready to go for the customer. Or we can vacuum seal it, which most people get us to do. We'll let it cool down enough to vacuum seal it where it's not too hot in the back. Gotcha. And that's the best way to go because y'all offer that. That's right. Yeah. And, and that keeps it from uh, frostbite, freezer burn. It'll make it last a whole lot longer in your freezer. So they offer that too. For a small little fee, you want to get it vacuum packed. So Yeah, if you, if you, a lot of people take it home and try to use their, their vacuum sealers that they buy. I got a commercial grade here. It's, it's about the same cost as if you took it home and did it yourself. All right. Well, it's hot out here. It's been a great day. And I tell you what, let's get this out and get it washed and let's see what we got. Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats now has more to offer. The same high quality seafood, live and boiled crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gar balls, and local catfish just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. Hey y'all, Halloween's near, so it's time for the 7th Annual Pumpkin Patch. Presented by the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's located at the St. James Welcome Center. It starts October 6th and continues until Halloween. With Haunted House, Country Store, Nature Trail, Hay Rides, Car Show, a 5K Run, and a Petting Zoo, and a whole bunch more. So bring the kids out and let's party with the pumpkins. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. 
River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the Amy River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Y'all finally got Jacob in here. Man, we couldn't get Chad out of here for nothing, man. Oh, I know. I know. He wants to process everything we had, so <laughs> he's finally going to get us some food we can eat. Now tell us, what are we making? Oh, we're just going to make some uh, some shish kebabs. We got, uh, we, got, we got the deer tenderloin. We got some cherry tomatoes, bell pepper, some red onions. We're going to throw all that on the, on the skewer. We add a little, little bit of seasoning, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And of course, uh, Blanchard's blend. You gotta have Blanchard's I, blend. I, I love Blanchard's blend. I, at the house, this is all I use. Yeah, me too. It's, it's actually uh, lower in sodium, you know, than, than, a, than a lot of the big big you seasons out there. And yeah. the flavor is out of this world. And really, for people that want to eat healthy, they don't have to come back and add salt. Exactly, exactly. Now, we've been doing the show on deer, but since y'all a seafood place, we had to throw some shrimp in. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We had to. We yeah. had to. Well, we, he's going to start putting some together here. And this is really cool, These, this kind of recipe. You can add anything you want to this. Oh, man. You can just, just, just be creative. I mean, yeah. If you don't kill deer, you can put beef. You could put pork. You can put chicken. That's right. That's right. You know, just be creative. This isn't something y'all start offering yet. No, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not something that, that we do in-house. Uh, we're just we're just having fun uh, utilizing this the tenderloin. Excellent. I mean, this is yeah, great. we're yeah. waiting on deer season because y'all gonna be so busy. Y'all ain't even gonna be able to go deer hunting. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, what's really neat, y'all, is the facility they have here now. It's I'm telling you, it's a hundred degrees out there, and my camera lady's cold. It's chilly in here, and they keep this room around 54. Is it? 54, 58 degrees, I believe what Chad said. Right, right. And, you know, it's a, we, we process all meat under refrigeration, you know. The meat never warms up. It, 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 it never warms up, uh, which, which is important. Uh, it, it keeps your bacteria down. You no know, flies. No, no flies. No ants. No bugs. <laughs> no, nothing. It's really, really clean in here. And the cooler is connected to it. So you can just walk through the curtain into the, what, 30, 36 degree cooler? Uh, that one stays right, right at 33, 34. Wow. Yep. Wow. They put a nice facility here, y'all, and you want to bring your deer somewhere where you know it's getting treated right. It's, you know, it's never out in the sun. It's not sitting out somewhere. They have the facility here to take care of that. Right. right. When you get your meat home, you know you got something really good. And, yeah, and, and, exactly. and another thing that y'all been talking about, and I think it's real important, me being a deer hunter, when you kill a deer, you only getting your meat. That's it. You're, you're getting your meat over here. You never get somebody else's meat or a little bit of this to make that. If they don't have enough, well, they give it back. You know, here's what well, here's what you're getting back. You didn't have enough to make this. Or, but you're not getting somebody else's meat. It's the whole key to that. You clean yours. You get all the hairs off. You got no bacteria, and you brought it here. Well, that's how you're getting it back. Exactly. It, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what, bro. I'm going to let you get into putting these things together. We're going to check on you, seasoning them up. And I'm about ready to eat, y'all. I'll tell you what, I'm about, about to add a little bit of seasoning right now to them. All right. So, you know, just can't, can't go wrong with Worcestershire or anything. No. Just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce on it, put it real good. I tell you what, that fire's going to be happy to have that on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of uh, this Blanchard's blend. Sitting in the cooler. <laughs> All right, y'all. He's spicing them up. What what I like about the the Blanchard's blend, you don't have to worry about putting too much seasoning on it. 
It's it's not gonna it's not gonna be over salted. Or over hot. Or over hot. You're just gonna have more flavor. Yep. So. All right, y'all. Got a fire lit. Things are fixing to start looking really good. All right, y'all. We finally got by the fire. We out of that cooler. It's a lot warmer out here. But I got Kyle. What's up, man? What's going on, dude? You always cooking something good. Always. So just Tell me what you're cooking. We're gonna cook a a white gravy. Put on the cube. Uh, the the cubes, fry. Yeah, the, the fried, fried cube steak he's fixing to fry up. That's it. Now, what you got there? This is 100% deer meat, ground deer meat. We're going to go ahead and get this going. All right. I love get the black fire. iron pot over the open fire. Going to sprinkle some Blanchard's Lynn. Got to. Got to. Well, yes, indeed. So, so what you going to do? You're going to brown that down. Going to brown that down. Take that out. We're going to put... Uh, about four tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. four tablespoons of flour, and two and a half cups of milk. Got it. Got it. And that's going to go gently over the top of those fried cube steaks. That's it. Somebody's living right, y'all. We fixed to have some food. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll be right back. Hey, Cindy, you like red beans? Yes, indeed, y'all. We're having a red bean cook-off here at the Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking. It's a $40 entry fee. It's November 7th. We're cooking four pounds of beans. And first place is free red beans for a year. We're decorating again this year, too. We are. It's a $100 prize, so bring you costumes, anything to decorate your tent. As a matter of fact, we're taking the first 20 to sign up. So come on out and sign up and may the best red beans win. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. All right, y'all, I'm back with Chad. Tell me what we got going. Well, you saw earlier we did the cube steak. We went ahead and cubed it up. We're actually going to dip it in a little bit of egg and milk. Then we're going to put it straight into some flour with some uh, Blanchard seasoning. And we're going to get it all breaded up, and then we're going to fry it up. Right in the grease, y'all. Best stuff you ever ate in your life. I'm going to let him get started with it here. And uh, I think y'all saw earlier that Kyle's got the white gravy going. Now we're going to put this in. Yeah. Put on top of this once it's done. Man, that's against the law in some states. That's good eating. And you bread it up like that. That's so, as simple as So it it's is. flour and seasoning. That's it. And you got egg and milk. That's it. Eggs to let the flour stick. All right, y'all. We're fixing to drop it in the grease. All right, Chad, you got them breaded up. What are we doing now? We'll go ahead and drop them in the grease. Uh... This is a commercial fryer. We have the luxury of being at our shop where we fry our boot and balls. We are going to fry it up at about 365. Usually at your house, you can take a cast iron pot, um, fill it about half full, and you want to get it to about 375. And then you stick it straight in there and you fry it about three, four minutes till it's a golden brown. It'll start to float just like you do every other thing you fry. And you can start sampling it too and seeing how if you, you right. want to fry it a little longer That's too. That's right. All right, y'all. It's in the grease. We cooking now. All right, bro. We ready for some real cooking now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We got we, we got the pit hot. We're ready to cook. Tell me what you 
tell what you got going. It's a new little technique. Right, it, it, it is. Uh, it's something something that we do uh, with the Bambi bites. We we'll actually just take them and place them. And uh, this is actually just a, a fish grilling basket. Yeah. A lot of people use it to uh, to grill fish and uh, and hamburgers. So that, that, so we, when it, whenever we rolled these, we didn't put toothpicks in it. You know, so you don't have to uh, worry about a toothpick catching on fire or, you know. Yeah. I like the idea. <laughs> yeah. And you say it cooks a little more evenly too. You right, mean you can actually right. flip them and Right. They 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 all they all cook evenly. You won't get stuck a toothpick in the top of your mouth and, and another advantage of this little technique, they don't come unrolled. Right. From yeah. flipping them. From from flipping. They they will not come unrolled and they'll all cook evenly. I like that. Now that's, where does that recipe come from? That's something y'all figured out or somebody had that trick or that's Oh, that's Chad. Chad. Chad's yeah. idea. Gotcha. Ch Chad's idea. Okay. Yeah. And, we just... and you can get this at uh, Galvez Hardware. Right, right, right. You can get the basket at uh, Galvez Hardware. So you just put it in there, tighten it up. Yeah. Oh, oh, and oh. it holds down. It, it holds firm down on them. Right, right. It, keep, it keeps pressure on them. All right. It's going to end up maybe even with some little grill marks or something on there, too. Right. That's neat, though. I like the way you got the pit. A unique pit that they have here at Hole in the Wall, they, you can lower it and raise it and lower it. If you're getting too hot, well, just raise it up a little bit. Right, that's it. All Look right, at so, there. so we got these on the pit now, and probably in about three or four minutes, we'll, we'll flip them. Okay. And uh, while these are going, we'll start getting our fish kebabs on. Yeah, I like them fresh vegetables on there. Now, what's neat about the Bambi bites, I guess you cook them just long enough to where your bacon don't burn, and it should be done. That's correct. That that's correct. You you don't you definitely don't want to overcook them. Yes, indeed. That's a happy barbecue pit now. <laughs> we got shrimp. We got deer. We got a little bit of everything in here. I see you got one with all shrimp on it. Oh, that's yeah. for that's for the fancy. That's for the kids. <laughs> we got some kids here that's gonna taste some of this good cooking we got. They dying to eat in there. They keep coming out. Is the food ready? Is the food ready? So we got to get something for them. Not that we hungry or nothing. Now you got to make room look like for the, uh, the little burger patties we got. Right, right. Uh, once I pull the Bambi bites off, uh, we'll we'll go ahead and throw the uh, the patties on, and and those patties are actually the the sausage, the the leftover sausage. Yeah. That, so we're that, gonna get to try the sausage off the grill. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, man. I'm gonna let you go to cooking, and we're fixing to have something here. All right, y'all, it's been a great day at Hole in the Wall Seafood and Cajun Meats. We cooked some good food. You know where to bring your deers now when you want to get them done. And that surprise I was telling you about, we got it right here. It's banana bread, and they don't put nuts in it because of one of the little children don't eat the nuts, but you can add walnuts and pecans to it also. And you can find this recipe on our Facebook page, and you can like us on Facebook. But I want to tell everybody, thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and check us out next week.